Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another African mini zoo episode. And uh, man, we still have issues here with a lot of guests. Uh, I do really hope that that will be solved in the future. But before we jump into this new African mini zoo episode, I would like to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get Planet Zoo and all Planet Zoo packs with a really nice a discount and of course next to planet zoo they have so many other amazing games like the sim city skylines farming simulator prehistoric kingdom jurassic world evolution and so much more for a really great price as well and by buying via their website you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel i will make sure to put the link of instant gaming in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it we have a a way bigger issue in this habitat. Um, no, no, okay, please not, no. They're all thirsty, that's one. <sighs> These rabbit flavors, <laughs> oh my freaking God. Right, okay, I, I, I thought I had a solution right over here because this, this water pipe it, it's not being used. I, I tried to hide it here, but I just really do not know if this is going to work. Uh, like, there is zero. There are, there are just no lemurs at all coming in here, which is just super frustrating. So that's one issue, the water. Second issue is the amount of space. As you could tell, the red buff lemur is breeding so fast. Like, how many offspring did, did they get already? Like, let's have a look right over here. Red buff lemur. We already have three babies and one on their way. They're all becoming super thirsty at this point, which I have no idea how to fix this if they are not going to use this water pump at all. Like, I did... Okay, let me just one more time check the traversable area. The traversable area is going towards this water pipe thing. And it confuses me because they should be able to use it, but maybe they only use it if this is there's like blue underneath there. So, okay, are you? No. The, is, are you? Are you going up there? No. No, no. Oh gosh, okay. So this is definitely an issue. I need to figure out a way to give them some water at least because this is definitely not going to help. But uh, we just do not have any space for that at this point. I need to see if I make this small. Look, <laughs> well, if it's, if it's enough, I mean, <laughs> if like a little bit of water can be enough... For these lemurs? Uh, oh my goodness. Right, okay, that is just really silly. That's not what we're gonna do. How about flatten to terrace? So we can just lower this down like a tiny little bit. Make this a little bit bigger. This, this could be enough as long as I can fill it, but I cannot. Oh wait, that's not the right one. Oh! Is this covered with a water pump? It's not, but we can fix that. We can fix that. There is one water pump right over there. Okay, we need a temporarily temporary water pump. Is there electricity on this side? There is there is plenty of electricity, so that is not an issue. Then we're gonna add the water treatment. And we're just gonna put it somewhere about here and then i'm going to add a path with the staff path to this and this this should at least give these guys the water that they need and um i can just like add a few rocks here and there just to make this look a little bit but it, it's not even annoying me too much to be completely honest like it's, it's but it is going to reduce their traversable area 
most likely unless it still calculates this as their first area because it's like really shallow water so let's have a quick look oh goodness that looks even worse now <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> oh that's i feel so sad this it's orange it's orange so that should not be too bad if i now check the traversable area it still calculates oh that's perfect so now we can just remove this stupid one because it doesn't make any sense to have that there and i wasn't really happy with it at all so if i now play the game as well this is now good so now all we need to do is hope that they're all going to the water which looks like it i mean they're all coming this way so <laughs> thank you <laughs> so all that yes they're drinking oh my goodness i am just so happy that this actually works like it's not really what i wanted but it works and it, it does what it should do it makes sure that they're not going to be thirsty or like dehydrate and die so i feel like this is actually the way to go for so we now have some water and we fixed the water issue i feel like i'm just going to delete that one that's probably also give us a little bit more oh no <laughs> it doesn't really do anything much we have our staff bringing in food we do not have to worry anymore about the water problems in here the only thing that we need to worry about is the amount of space so what i'm going to do i'm going to make sure that i feel like all the lemurs are going to get some contraceptives for now and well you are not a lemur no you are not <laughs> okay this should be good because these are all lemur species no this is not i definitely just selected the wrong one lemur there we go there we go so we're gonna select all of these give them all contraceptives so we can make sure that we have a little bit more control over this and just keep an eye out for when lemurs are growing up because as soon as they grow up they need more space so we will get messages about that ah oh, we missed this feeding plate Oh, I'm so sad. I wish I could have seen that because that probably looks super cool. But looking at this that is already empty might also be a reason that we, we need to add a little bit more. If we just go to food enrichment, like we have some of these pikes already. But if I'm correct, I should be able to be able to place... Look, 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 I can put one here and just put back the little grass patch that it removed. Uh, black... <laughs> Gosh, there's, there's another rather a lemur or, or another lemur on its way. All right, let's just make sure that there is enough of these pikes and stuff. Like these pikes do not really feel like causing an issue when you place them down with like the the amount like how you say that like the amount of space that it needs around it like the water pump is just not placeable it's just ridiculous it's just not doable at all but I, I i feel like i can put this one super close to the edges without any issues whatsoever so we can we can use that in our advantage and just put some pikes all around there because i really do not know how much we would need for these lemurs but i'd rather have a little bit too many than the other way around i mean i don't want them to die of food or being thirsty oh man i still am so oh my gosh <laughs> i'm so happy with this habitat even though it's really struggling but this is also what we try to achieve here like we are trying to build a mini zoo it's challenging it's it's actually also fun I, I do really hope that this will be fixed can we already like put this on a higher i don't think so oh this is a great three 
it's a little bit silly that we cannot but the black right black and white rough lemur are we actually already doing research for you ah penguins are just done and we also are doing some research for them so which is good but actually i just <laughs> oh my gosh i i think the black and white re right rough lemur are the ones that are going although honestly the red rough lemur is like reproducing super fast so maybe it might <laughs> be better to go for the red rough lemurs instead even though they're super beautiful and amazing but i just don't really think that we are able to handle look we need 306 square meters at this point this is going to be an issue Anyways, I did some things off camera. We've been uh, looking into the lemurs a lot, but look, we have a little information stand here, which is a little African information stand, which I absolutely love. I think it's so cute. This one is not being used that much just yet because there's just not that much to do on this side, but I think it's so adorable. This one I took from one of the in-game blueprints that Frontier made, and it, I, I just loved it so much, and it was like this really ugly little corner thingy from the path so i just took that one and ugh, it looks so good so i absolutely love this one you can download this one as well from the collection list in the description of this video and we also did da -da 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 -da. it's not the most perfect staff building but it does what it should do so we have a staff building right over here some elephant grass to make it more private area we have some signs over here with also a little greenhouse so you can also download all of these buildings as well if you want to use them for your own zoos uh, this is obviously pretty useless but it just looks super cool so i really do like that and uh, this is a pretty simple area but it has all the buildings that we need i think we even have one two three small little keeper huts and um, I think this is good we have a big staff room and I think I think I did actually add this all in a work zone pretty sure oh that, that's also add that one in there which should now also work properly like this so okay what do we have right over here animal is stressed oh is that also another issue that we're going to have <laughs> it's a habitat stressed animals oh my goodness although like looking at this 89 percent is is not bad even though we do have not enough space in here but i, I do feel like it's, it's better to just reduce with at least like only have two species in here i think that might work a little bit better uh, but yeah we have a nice staff area i also did delete um, I think, yeah, two picnic benches right over here and two right over here it was a little bit busy and people were walking through there. So I thought, okay, let's make it a little bit more spacious. And I think that definitely did help with the uh, guest flow right over here. So, oh, oh yes! <gasps> How did you do that in the water? Uh, okay, I'm not going to ask, but we're getting some African penguins. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. And this one is imminent. You're kidding. Oh, wait, are you the... Oh, my goodness. How did I miss out on this? Oh, my gosh. Hi. That's probably because I tried to fix the lemurs and I constantly had to unpause and pause, unpause and pause. And I, I just totally missed out on this. And sometimes when I do like a zoo tour or anything, I, I turn off all the notifications. And then later on when I play franchise and sometimes forget to turn them on when I'm building. So then I sometimes do not see any messages. Oh my gosh. Okay. You are now stressed. Oh, goodness, this is going to be an issue for sure. Oh, wait, but we can, we, can, we can fix that. If we can go or, like, fix, we can try at least. Do not disturb signs. Uh, please tell me I did not put these. Let, let's pause the game for just a little bit. Please tell me that I did not forget. No, I did not. Oh, perfect. I did not put these down. 
So hopefully, if we just put these, like I always put them underneath the ground because I just hate how they look. I'm sorry, Frontier, but some things are better hidden. <laughs> I won't do the same with the donation boxes, but unfortunately we can't. So wait, now we're at it. Like maybe just go on and just add a few more right over here. Did I? I, I think I did put these down around the penguins. Yeah, you see? There's... Oh, no, that's a guard. Okay, so we can actually just put one down underneath here and just maybe also... And then, oh, actually, guests are using this area now. Oh, I'm curious. Hopefully, this is going to help a little bit with the stress. How is this going? It's pretty full here. There's there's quite some space here for the guests and also the animal talking point. Oh, but that's also, I think, because I did hide a, a vista point. I think I did hide a vista point right over here and one over there. So just to get some more guests in here because they were all using that side. But I think that works. Oh my goodness, I'm just so happy. That we have some penguin babies in here. Look at that. Look at the wiggle. It's so adorable. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at them all go. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Can't believe that I missed this. But oh boy, am I happy to see you all in here. So how is the space doing for these guys? Oh, goodness. Okay. We already have species. Oh, but they are only babies, of course. So when they're babies, they need a different amount of space. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. So maybe, is there like a way to like, because, because this is like a little area as well. Like maybe if we could make like a little opening, but I, I'm not really sure. Okay, let's test this. I'm not really sure if this is smart to do, but I just really want to try and see. Like, are they able to, to walk underneath this? I'm going to, because I'm going to start building in a bit as well. So I'm going to change the animal settings to five. Just to make sure that things are not going too fast. Wait, did I actually have an adult? Because you are saying that you are not able to deep dive which is obviously not true but unfortunately these things sometimes bug out so i always just remove a little rock and then just ctrl z and put the rock back i want to see because this should now be reset as well look they can actually go underneath here now the question it, that i have I, I put it a little bit lower just to see if they are still able to go underneath there. <gasps> they are. Oh. <gasps> oh, I like that. So that means that... Oh, shoot. But I do have windows here, which I actually do not want to delete. I get really tight space. But this would actually give them the exact amount of space that they are probably missing. This seriously was a pain in the, the, the thing. Because, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I had to lower this and then it was only just a matter of probably millimeters or something like that, that it wasn't wide enough and I kept moving the rocks right over here and in the end I just had to make this this window a little bit bigger and also duplicate it here so it doesn't really is that, uh, doesn't really look that obvious but this is like the older size of the window and these are the newer ones so yeah i made it a little bit bigger and i was surprised to see that i still was able to like add this plaster piece to the top but they really do not need that much space other than that uh, so we did add a few enrichment items right over here and we have a slow feeder here and then they should be having this uh oh yes they have one plate we actually removed a few, I remember. But now that we have some babies, I do feel like... Can I please add you underneath here again? Oh my goodness, it's going to be hard. 
Oh no, it's all right. Uh, something like that, right? So this should be good for all the penguins and these big ones are not able to go underneath here. So it's really only the small ones. Well, why do you have, oh, they're already using that one. The amount of space. Oh, okay, it's a deep water again. I will just uh, fix that off camera. Can I just move you maybe that you would be like, hey, okay, you're eating. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like recalculate that because it doesn't happen for all oh, the penguins does it oh it does oh yes i did also add this one in here maybe maybe they did <laughs> do not really like that so they're just like no no we don't like that now we cannot deep dive anymore maybe it is because of this one Oh gosh, if I now remove that one, does that... Oh, okay. Oh, shoot, it was... <laughs> but we do have a rubber ducky right over here, so they can play with the rubber ducky. But it is what it is. And they at least have, the, like, this water jet. They have food. They have the curio ball. I think other than that, it, it's going to be fine, honestly. Tickets are on their prize. We always like to hear that. To go for 13 and 12... And let's have a quick look at our staff. We have African penguin, lemurs, and meerkats. We have one in each. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to hire one more keeper. And we're going to set you in the everything work roster. And I'm going to put you in only clean habitats. I feel like... We could use that, and then the other keepers are focusing more on uh, giving some food and stuff. I'm not too bothered about this water. I think it's all right, and it really fixes the issues that we have. So I'm actually not disappointed about that, that that actually did work. The meerkats, how are the meerkats doing right now? We have, how many babies do we have? Yes, six, that's right. Six! <laughs> that's insane, really. How fast did they grow up? I think this is around three years old. So we should be able to enjoy some of the uh, baby meerkats for some time. Look at them all walk here. They definitely did improve uh, the, the, the um, herding behavior. I was, I was looking for the word. <laughs> the herding behavior with these animals. It's so freaking adorable to see them all walk together like this isn't it it's so cute they are able to use this 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 water thing definitely and it's it's like a lot of water so i think we should not be having any issues with the meerkats and if they do cause any issues at some point then we can just do the same as in the um the lemur habitat i guess so right for this episode we are obviously going to uh, steal on the price all right give me more money <laughs> uh, that research complete uh, so in this episode you probably already spotted them in my animal training center we are going to add the west african lion in this episode and i am actually really excited for that because they are going to be quite challenging as well so that is going to be fun. Let's have a quick look at the West African lion. How much space do we need? Oh my goodness. And they can have a maximum, I, I think, yes, three. I was doubting between three and four. So three would be 983 square meters as a minimum to make sure that this is going to work. So the West African lion habitat is going to become where we now have this water pump. So around here probably is going to be some West African lions. And uh, yeah, as, as always, we're going to try and make a small habitat or at least as small as possible might might cause us some issues although this with the lemurs is definitely also because of the reproduction <laughs> so they're just really fast in reproducing so uh, that that also does not help with that habitat but yeah let's go and start building
this house had definitely took me a little bit longer than I wanted to. I did inspire this one of two real life zoos. So let's first show this. This is inspired of Artis, which is located in Amsterdam. Obviously not like a recreation, but definitely uh, for those that are Dutch uh, can recognize this old uh, lion habitat. And it was really a struggle because I really wanted these lions to be able to uh, sit or, or, or lay down on these rocks right over here. Also had a little bit of a challenge to find a nice savanna background. But uh, yeah, I actually do really like how this has uh, turned out with this background. I will make sure to put this one in my uh, Discord. You can find a link in the description of this video so you can download this as well. Now, the habitat itself, I, I would like to upload it, but it's going to be a little challenge because, and I will show that later on, this habitat is not finished yet. Well, the habitat is, but the building is not. So I did use a little trick here with the, uh, what is going on? Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Where you can really tell that when you have a new animal that all the guests are getting super excited and all the guests want to be here and check out the new lions. So I think as soon as um, <laughs> they're not that new anymore, then this will all be uh, fixed in a later stage, but now it's just terrible. But yeah, I did like, like it's pretty hard to have a hard edge on the sides of your habitat when you do not want to raise your path. So I did like, I think this is a five meter wide path and uh, to like hide away these edges, I use like a lot of these uh, plaster pieces. So um, yeah, I hid it away. And then we have like mulch covering the plaster pieces first. And then we have a nice line of little rocks. Oh, you see, there we go already. Perfect, it's, uh, it's already like fixing itself. Now this was definitely a little struggle. This whole area, I think I did like three or four different things. I did like a cave or just a rock formation where it can lay on and like it's so tiny and it's it's like the size is just perfect. Uh, it's 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 exactly at least I hope it's not changed, but it's exactly how I want it to be around 900 square meters, which should be if we go to here, which should be enough to have two adults and Oh, okay, well, it's going to be orange, but I think it's just fried enough so we won't get any issues. But hopefully they will only get two cubs, for example, then, uh, then we are good. In the end, I ended up, I, I saw a picture online with like these pallets and the lions were like sleeping on it, sleeping underneath it. And I did really like that idea. And as this is not like super big, I thought, you know what? That is just the way to go for, but I still found it super boring. So then I started adding like these logs and also like put them straight in here. And that actually, I think, was the thing that I was missing. So it's still pretty barren, but I think it definitely like looks a lot like an older, older zoo. And I think it works. I like it and, and they are able to like lay down on here, lay down on here, and be able to walk underneath there. So I think this is just uh, the best solution, and I think it looks really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So they have like a lot of space on the inside. Like I did put like a lot of fences and stuff just to get the idea, like if you would stand here that you would get the idea that there are cages on the inside. But yeah, I had to remove a few, I, I might, have to remove these as well in the future because this is all reducing their traversal area. So uh, yeah, it is a little uh, debatable, but, but we're, we're building a mini zoo here. So I think we are good. This was glass, but later on I changed it to some, uh, some fences like this because I think it's going to be really hot and they have enough shelter on the sides here already. We do have some one-sided glass right over here, so um, they will get some privacy and they will just do their thing if they're uh, like eating or sleeping or whatever. But yeah, they still do have this indoor area. So this is definitely also helping 
with the amount of traversable area that they have. This building is not finished yet. Now, I was thinking to maybe have a few different species in here. Not entirely sure yet what kind, but when I was building this, I thought, you know what? We have lemurs. We have too many lemurs. So we want to move one lemur species. So I'm probably... Oh, gosh, this fencing. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we, we, we do want to, like, move one of the lemur species. So I think I am going for my earlier plan. I want to move one of the lemurs. I think it's going to be the ring-tailed lemur. And I think I'm going to move them right in here. And I want to expand this building a little bit more, maybe like in an angle or something, or maybe just an outdoor area. Maybe, maybe an outdoor area is the best thing to do. And then also add the algebra giant tortoise in here. I, I like that idea. Like this definitely is a little bit meant to be like, okay, we did not really build this habitat for the lemurs and the algebra giant tortoise, but this is going to house them uh, because of, of space and stuff. And I, I think I like that idea. So yeah, definitely, uh, I think this is going to be very cool. And then we probably still have some space right over here to also add a different type of animal. And I am I really have no idea yet what kind of animal that will be. But I think it's cool. Like we're building a mini zoo and regarding space definitely is going to be tiny for a lot of animals. And But it's all right to build like a bigger building that is going to house more different African species. I think that's just going to be super awesome. And I actually am happy that I do not have to like get rid completely of the lemurs. I think it's going to be the perfect solution to be able to add one lemur species in there with a tortoise. I think that's gonna be super amazing. What do we have right over here? Has been boxed for too long. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, lovely. I'm so sorry. Hopefully I'm able to finish your new habitat very soon. They're not like growing up already, right? It's not like going that fast, is it? Oh, we can now uh, put this on a great two. Rat buff lemur, six. Oh my goodness, there are three more <laughs> that do not have any contraceptives. So we need to look into that. Ring tilt lemur, also two more. Oh my goodness. How, how is the space doing at this point? Like they're at least, like it's it's orange, so it's not like super bad. Uh, Vav research complete. Oh, ticket prizes, we can definitely raise the ticket prices do we want to do that at this point i actually do not know <gasps> we need to research the lions yes oh my gosh that is going to be amazing uh, i do have two golden status lions so i do wonder 78 percent not bad not bad and that is without any bonus so hopefully they are going to mate soon and then we're going to have some really cute little cubs running around where is that lion oh you're sleeping here with your head <laughs> in your water pipe right makes total sense of course it does we do want to add like a little educational sign or anything like that right over here but for now i think it's fine we have one over here one on the other side we have a lot of donation boxes do i have a donation box on this side right over here I actually do not think so. So trying to put them in like these uh, planters and stuff as much as possible because uh, well, I'm not entirely a fan of them. Oh, and then right over here in the back, we have, I, I don't know why, like this is probably the first thing I, I put down and I just felt like, okay, I do not want to move this and I'm going to build basically around it. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Animal has escaped. How did you escape? You're still in your habitat. <laughs> That's silly. I don't know. It just feels like more realistic to have. I, I think we have a solar panel, which is definitely not so realistic, but it does work. So I'm just going to hide that one. And then we have a water treatment plant right over here and just have like these things uh, peeking out through the walls. Uh, I don't know. It's just a little detail of realism, I guess. And also, I forgot to show in the uh, on the inside right over here, 
We have some staff buildings. I, I had to keep your huts right over here. I did replace this one with a research center for now. But as soon as we're going to have more animals here, I'm definitely going to add another little keeper's hut. I, I do wonder if I actually did make a work zone in here. I did not. So it is definitely a good thing to have the African lion like so. So we have lemurs, meerkats, West African lion. And then we probably want to hire, we have one in everything. I'm going to hire one keeper and I'm going to put this one in the West African lion work roster like that. So that should be good. We definitely do want to train this one as soon as possible. But I feel like this is definitely a good step. I, I like this habitat, even though there are definitely some more plain areas. It feels it feels kind of realistic for like an, a little bit of an older estate habitat. I, I think it definitely looks pretty cool. Just look at the lighting here, guys. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely love this. And these guys are just so beautiful. I guess the guests will be uh, complaining a lot for not seeing any lions at this point, but I did maybe add a little bit too many enrichment items and stuff on the inside, but I just felt like I do not really have that much space on the outside, so, um, hmm. But we might want to look into that later on. But yeah, do let me know, of course, what you all think of this new West African lion habitat. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for the next African mini zoo episode. Leave something nice in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.